Good morning. This is Crystal with Whole New Perspective. Today I was getting ready to make some bread in my bread machine and I thought I would just bring you along with me. So please hit that like button, give it the thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. I've had this bread machine for over 13 years and it served me well. Now I make lots of bread, dough, and it even makes jam. And yes, I've made strawberry jam in here and it is delicious. It's very easy, very quick, doesn't need any pectin. You just put your ingredients in and it does it for you. Now it comes with this nice manual and recipe guide. It has all sorts of recipes for bread, for jam, uh, just various, just various breads and jams and different things that you can do with this bread machine. Now you guys also know how I like my books. And so of course I have a bread machine book and it has over 300, over 300 recipes. And I use this quite often as well. So what I'm going to do is just bring you along with me, show you how I put everything into the loaf pan. Now it's a two pound loaf pan. And the thing about bread, making bread, you really have to be very specific in the order that you put things in. You can't let your yeast touch the water or you may not have uh, the greatest result, at least in the bread machine. So I want to show you that and uh, we'll come back. Okay, as I said, this is a two pound loaf pan. The kneading blades are in there. I'm actually going to follow a recipe that's in the book. I'm following this Italian herb recipe. Now it does call for bread flour. I don't have bread flour. I'm using all purpose flour. So I'm going to add one and one half cups of water. four and one fourth cup of bread flour. I've already measured it out and I'm just gonna put it in here. Try not to spill it everywhere. I like to kind of cover up my water because you want to make sure that your yeast doesn't touch the water. So I like to do that. And then there's two tablespoons of sugar. I use organic cane sugar. And this is, I use this a lot. You see this, this actually came with this bread machine. And then it's one and one half teaspoon of salt. This is pink Himalayan salt. It has the half mark on it. So I know that that's what that is. And two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm gonna use extra virgin because I like the way that it tastes. wipe that off. Although I won't use that side again, I just want to make sure that everything stays good and dry. Then I'm use my, I'm going to use just an Italian seasoning. It says that you can just use basil, but I like to use all the seasonings. So I'm going to do that. And then it calls for one teaspoon. I usually do a little more, <laughs> a little more generous with my teaspoon and maybe even a little more because I like the flavor of the herbs. Okay. 
Okay, then what you need to do is to add your active dry yeast. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way. And you create just a little well. And then this is the active dry yeast that I use. You probably saw that in one of my Azure Standard hauls. And again, it's two teaspoons. And I just put it down in the well. And I'll show you what this looks like if you That's what it looks like. Then I'm just going to put it into my machine and I'll show you that. Okay, so here we have it inside the machine. So now I'm just going to plug it in and I'll show you the steps for that. So once it's plugged in, it automatically goes to basic and it's on medium. I just want to show you if I push the crust. I'm going to push the crust and for me I'm going to want a light crust and still basic but if I want to move it around I can make quick wheat I can just make dough jam cake sourdough starter and then there's also homemade recipes for something that's similar to a mock meatloaf that's in there and so it's really it really does a lot but I have it where I want it right now so I'm just gonna hit the start button. <laughs> so now you see that it's preheating. So it'll take some time to preheat and then it will continue to move through the cycles to make the bread. So it has now preheated and it's, e it's kneading right now. It is rising. Yeah. So it's rising. Two hours and six minutes to go. Okay, the bread machine has finally ended. This is what it looks like. I did select the light crust. And if you see here, it's flashing and it'll keep it warm. Now, I'm not going to take it out right now because it's very hot. And once I take it out, I'll bring you back and show you. Okay, I'm getting ready to take it out. It's still pretty heavy. I'm going to take it out. Here we go. Over. Looks good. Looks good. Still pretty hot. Let's see if I can slice it. I think I'm going to wait a little bit and come back and slice it. It's still pretty hot. So I'll be back and we'll slice it. Okay, it's cooled off. And I'm just going to cut it. Show you what it looks like. Cut a piece off. <laughs> so this is delicious. 
Thank you for coming along with me as I made the Italian herb bread. It is really delicious. Wish you could smell it. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel.